What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So I'm with my boy Andy today and uh, it's the first dry day so we're going to take the Jixa 750, my new bike, for a spin up this here road and uh, see what she's like. So I've done 81 kilometers on it today in the dry which is pretty good because uh, the journey home when I collected it was all wet and it hasn't stopped raining since. So let's see what she's like on the old twisties. I'll go first so I don't get Andy's number plate because he will get angry with me. But the uh, first thing I noticed uh, with riding it today is the engine is like nowhere near as torquey as a thousand obviously I mean that's you know that stands the reason but it's a really workable engine it's nice the power's from about 7,000 oh Jesus lots of shit on the road from about 7,000 ish but it just feels um, it's good it's not like a super revy 600 or anything like that it's kind of like got the best of both worlds like a bit of revability from a 600 with a bit of power of a thousand and just yeah it's just it's a nice combination I actually wanted a 750 when I got the thousand but there just wasn't one available I was gonna buy an S-Rad but uh, I didn't hey. yeah I do like the power the brakes are a little bit mm, lacking a little bit I think it's the pads probably more than anything but uh, yeah the tires as well they're fairly old um, pilot pilot cup maybe I don't know just sort of like normal road tyres but uh, I think I will invest in some sticky rubber for the bike and uh, maybe get some different brake pads and then hopefully on roads like this it will be much more um, compliant but just taking it easy today because it's, you know first time really riding but I must say I do I do like it I might even be I might even say I prefer this to the thousand the only thing is it doesn't do power wheelies and it's quite hard to clutch them up in second I'm not quite used to it yet but other than that I do like the old girl so let's uh, just shut up now and then concentrate on this road for a little bit Alrighty, so just stopped off at this little village post office here because I had to pay a, pay a bill for the missus. That was my only job for the day, so if I didn't do that, I'd be in big trouble. So you've seen uh, the riding up on the up on the hills now, and I've got to grips with the bike now. Um, now my one day, my conclusion. Oh yeah, there's a little uh, police station there as well. That's what a Japanese uh, village police station looks like. Nobody in it, what a surprise. So my end of the first day impressions are, the bike is great. Um, it's very, very good suspension wise. Now, I haven't touched the suspension yet. Obviously it's fully adjustable. Uh, I should have adjusted it. I should have at least done the preload before I went for a ride up in the hills, but I didn't have any mates uh, available to hold the bike for me while I did all the measuring and the, all that kind of stuff. So basically the suspension is as, um, as it was when I picked it up and it's actually pretty good. Now it does need a little bit of work to uh, set it up for my weight and stuff, 
but that's fine we can do that another time May maybe even do a video about that but the limiting factor is the tires 100 the tires are very old very hard um, i've put plenty of heat cycles into them today like caning it up the mountain then having a rest then caning it back down the mountain have a rest and it's not really helped they've got a little bit softer but they're still not very confident inspiring they're a bit scary to be honest so i probably shouldn't really be pushing it too hard on these tires but i think all this bike needs now is a set of a good sticky rubber um i'm not sure what i'm going to go for now but i'm not going to go for s22s this time so i was just talking to a bunch of guys down at the um the Mitsu no Eki, and they were all saying they hate S22Rs because they are heavy, they're a heavy tyre so I'm just going to listen to their advice this time, I'm going to try something else um, but yeah, it just needs a set of tyres, maybe some stronger brake pads, something with a bit more bite and the bike will be good to go now Andy absolutely uh, kicked my ass on one of the roads today, which I didn't film obviously not on purpose but uh, yeah, I think there is some places where the 750 will be quicker than a thousand um, obviously in the straights not so <laughs> not so much but I mean this thing's got 140 horsepower so it's not you know it's nothing to be sniffed at it's uh, just a bit higher up in the rev range and a bit less torque than a thousand would have but it's still plenty plenty fast enough so if any of you guys out there were like oh, I kind of want a GSX 1000 oh do I, what about 750 Obviously this is only day one so I can't give you a concise answer to that um, question but for me right now I'm thinking the 750 makes a better road bike. So um, yeah I'm happy, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you haven't done already please do subscribe because only 40% of my viewers are actually subscribers. Oh it's that old boy, fuck it, fuck it let's go for a race. I know this guy so he won't mind if I go for a race with him. Does it does it? <laughs> oh, he's too slow, too chicken. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, I'm uh, I'm I'm over the moon. I think, I think it's going to be a smashing bike. So I just need some tyres, a bit of a uh, bit of love in the brake department, and then she'll be a ripper. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.